This is the Emergency Medical Minute. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits via online course modules. To access these and for more information, visit our website at www.emergencymedicalminute.com backslash CME dash courses, or simply click on the link in our show notes and create an account. Hi, my name is Tom Seaburn. I'm an emergency medicine physician. High altitude cerebral edema is believed to be basically the end stage severe range of acute mountain sickness. This is diagnosed as progressive neurologic dysfunction leading to altered level of consciousness and usually notably ataxia. If not treated, this can progress to coma, seizure, and death. MRI studies of patients reveal that this appears to be a vasogenic cerebral edema. There is many complex physiological pathways believing to contribute to this, but the theory in short is that there is an increase in cerebral blood volume and flow as well as an increase in capillary permeability. This combined leads to a vasogenic edema leading to brain swelling. This is usually a disease of extreme high altitudes. Treatment is rapid descent oxygen and dexamethasone. Start with 8 milligrams orally then 4 milligrams every 6 hours. Without descent this could be an easily fatal disease. This is usually diagnosed in the field as someone who appears drunk. So if your camp member on an expedition comes out of the tent, is stumbly and slurring their words, and you are at high altitude, consider descent immediately and evacuation. Hello, EMM listeners. We are dedicated to providing you with high-quality educational content free of charge and without ads. As a nonprofit organization, we rely solely on donations. So if you enjoy our show and are able to make a one-time or recurring donation to help cover our operational costs, any amount is helpful in making this show possible. Click the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you.